Natalie have known each other for 13 years, and it all started at Blue Bayou and Dixie Landon. Talk about finding love in a hopeless place. Not to brag, but I'm kind of the reason we're all here today. So <laughs> I was there that the night that they met at Dixie and Landon. I know, right? So you're all welcome. Even then, like they just always had a connection. He was always so sweet. They were just such a great couple from the start. I can say that they are truly yin and yang. Like they they work so perfectly. They're the perfect balance. And they set great groundwork for me to find my now husband. So thank you, and thank you for letting me be part of y'all's relationship, and I love y'all so much, and I cannot wait to make this official. <laughs> we dated for, for about a year and a half, and we really got to know and love Natalie for, for all the qualities that she brings to the table, and then we find out that they're no longer dating. So as an eighth grader, I decide to text my older brother's ex-girlfriend <laughs> to see what, what really went down in this relationship. Nat Nat, what in the heck happened? OMG, I thought y'all were perfect for each other. She, she responds, I don't really know what happened. I'm gonna miss y'all so much. So I go, I, I know he really loved you, but he just kinda wanted some free time. I'm sure y'all will be good friends, and hey, y'all might even get back together. Looks like I was right on that part, huh? <laughs> Natalie has been in our lives and a part of our family for a very long time. And with that, we've been fortunate. <laughs> we have been fortunate to watch her grow up and into beautiful, kind, Loving young lady that you see today. We we talked what for an hour, had lunch and all, nothing, just talked about things. How you doing? It was great, Natalie's what a great person. Oh, by the way, the reason I, you know. <laughs> and I don't even think I gave him an opportunity. I just said it's fine. Just, just. <laughs> Denton is a rock. He he really is. And our relationship, my relationship with Denton has been that way. And he just looks at me with those eyes and goes, Mr. J, I got it. <laughs> I, I'm, I got it. I never have to have that talk because it's just an understanding. Natalie is the exact same person today as she has been since I knew her when she was little. Natalie was friends with every friend group there was. I mean, if all of us, if every table was a friend group, she'd be going to each table. And I'm um, Natalie, just big smile on her face, so sweet. You know, one of her best qualities is that she, she makes everyone feel like they're cared for, they're loved for, and they're important. <laughs> Whether they're her best friends or someone she literally just meets in the lobby of a hotel. It's the, the craziest thing you've ever seen. Natalie is a stop and smell the roses kind of friend. Everyone needs this friend. In any situation, she makes the most of it, even if it's for a weekend or for a day or for two hours. Like, she makes it the best time you could ever imagine. kind of stuck with me was how genuinely great a person Denton is. He is the ultimate problem solver, no matter how big it is. He literally could fix any problem we ever had. He put together anything. He's always cool, calm, and collected, unless Turner creates a problem, and then he gets a little hectic. Natalie, if I give you any advice, don't ever offer him an instructional manual or a YouTube how-to video because he gets highly offended. Thank you. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Are you? <laughs> 
your dad asked me when we went to Jay Alexander's, what was the reason that you and I work so well together? And it's because I'm able to be my whole self with you. I'm able to laugh, cry, even though it only happens every once in a while. <laughs> I'm able to be myself around you. I love you more than anything in this entire world. And I'm so glad it's finally here. <laughs> we get to get married tomorrow. <laughs> so cheers to us. <laughs> There's one thing we heard last night, for those who were blessed to be there for the dinner, second only to the love that the two of you have for each other, which is so strong and so genuine. It's the love they have for you and how much it means to the two of them and to their families, but especially them, uh, that you all are here. So thank you. And more than that, more importantly than that, thank you for being a part of Denton's and Natalie's journey. We're all here tonight because in some way, We've been privileged to be loved by you and to love you. I didn't take you, Natalie, to be my wife. I, Natalie, take you, Dan, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. God our Father, creator of the universe, maker of man and woman in your own likeness, and source of blessing to the married. We humbly pray to you for Denton and Natalie, who tonight are united in this sacrament of marriage. May your fullest blessings come upon the two of them, that they may rejoice together in your gift of married love. Lord, may they praise you when they are happy and turn to you in their sorrows and their struggles. 
May they know that you are with them, that you help them in their work, and that you are with them in all of their needs. May they pray to you faithfully in their own hearts, their homes, the community of their church, and truly be your witnesses in this world. And we pray too, Father, that you grant them many years of happiness in this life, until they and all of us are reunited forever in our eternal home of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Here we've got our kids to show them our congratulations. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.